work and stuff so I've got kind of a large unboxing video for you so without further ado it is a fucking awesome one I know there's probably fuck all people watching this if you excuse my language but what the hell um, I'll just upload it as kind of like a semi normal video as well so first off here is my the Enfield number one mark three SMLE um, 1907 pattern Burnet made in October of 1916 I managed to clean it up a lot sorry this video is late mainly I was trying to get it done but just things I don't have a problem getting the stream set up and stuff like that so anyway first thing I've got is for that <clears throat> so here I have something all the way from Holland so it's sound like a probably a turn of the century knife what I've been looking for. This is a bayonet scabbard for a 1907 pattern bayonet. Just put it in there. Should hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah, that is all done. All done and dusted out by a 1907 pattern bayonet with its frog now. So that is going to be great for my early war impression. Pretty happy with that. So yeah, it's covered in like filth and a bit of a leaf there. And a little, uh, it's, well, the filth is really like cosmetic and that sort of stuff. That will come off easily. I think probably what's happened is that this has been in storage for a long time. Possibly maybe one of the things that was left behind after Dunkirk. Possibly the French or Dutch resistance hit it. Who knows? Just get rid of all of the stuff then. So see now one's watching the stream. Don't really matter anyway. So me having to edit the video. So main thing that this is about is fucking awesome excuse my language also these two things here have got something to do with it this I see you said 27 or Pistola Model 9 Model 27 Pistola Model Zebraman Svansig Tay um, which is basically a CZ27. Germans captured tons of these, produced, uh, and, and they would and produced them for themselves right the way through the war, right up until the end. That's a late war production one. This is an early war production one. So, yeah, and I believe this is actually original CZ27 holster, German holster. That is what I believe. Um, so, the reason why I have them, both Czech designs. This is also Czech.
Oh, and by the way, you might have also seen I've got my post-war Hugo MG34-42 ammo tin. Actually, it's a M53 ammo tin. Whatever. It's the same as the Patronic Aston 34. That's all that matters. Here's the only difference is that it doesn't have German stamps on. So, this is the first one. All three of these get choked away. So, this is heavy. Crack it, it's got a big hole in the bottom here. Guys, I don't know if you can. That's the damage dulled on her post. That's all just cut there, cut there. Cut a little bit here and it should come off. I'll move the camera a little bit so you can see better. If you want to see a big picture of my back. Underneath, guys, nice. should be able to see a lot better. Oh, I got one view, got one view, so awesome. Yep, so. Hello one viewer, um, what I've done so far is, I have got myself a bayonet scabbard for my 97 pattern bayonet. And I've got the unboxing of a very interesting thing, which is a CZ2037. It also comes with, I'm going to spoil it, but surprise.
This is not the CZ37. This is actually the tripod for it. CZ37 is in the other box. Hello second viewer, how are you guys doing? Good hopefully. I am on an unboxing of the CZ37. I've also just got myself a scabbard for my 97 pattern bayonet. Damn it, he's gone. He's back. So here we have part of the CZ37. We have a tripod. Now this is actually a anti-aircraft tripod. It's the early war ones, which had the ability to be both used as um, machine guns, like standard machine guns, like light war heavy machine guns, or missing the bolt. Um, or it could be used as an anti-aircraft machine gun, which is what this part is for. I've got to figure out how to set this up now. Yep, this is a Czech production tripod, by the looks of it. Um, it says 
so these are 27 that 37 rather that means it's um early war it's got 7835 serial number Now I'm talking to myself. <laughs> like a crit. Like a man, man. Need to go get a hammer for this. Oh, shit. They couldn't get any better, could it? <laughs> that will be literally a couple of seconds, guys. Uh, person, um, this. I need to go get a hammer to be able to move the nut which will allow me to move this leg of the CZ37 tripod. I'll give you a couple of tips. back with the hammer That's why it wasn't working, I was doing it the wrong way. Absolute spares. We knocked it here. We locked it in place. Which now allows the front to also be locked in place. So, it to work, that is. I'll work out how that works later. Because you guys will want to see what's in this box.
my knife. Might help a little bit. Got this upside down. They tip sides a little bit too zealously, I think. Anyway. Very nearly got rid of all the tape rubbish. Open up now.
B37. Just got to take the certificate off. Obviously, it's deactivated. Like it says on on top of this video. Let's probably get the net four. So we've got one rough note down there. Quite faint. Um. And. First thing we should do is try and get it fixed to the tripod. That might be a bit sticky. Yeah, you can see the deactivation here where they obviously cut away the bow. Comes out like so. Is there missing a pin here? No, no, there isn't. So This is the basically adjusting lever, and this is how it mounts on, like so. That goes through there. This bit here should theoretically go through here, like that. There you have it. ZB37 or MG37T or whatever you want to call it on its tripod. I'm going to have to sort it out again, I know. But yeah, one hefty bit of kit. Ooh, I'm scared about breaking it. You know, the top cover I don't think comes off due to the deactivation spec. Same with the carry handle. I don't know if the sights are meant to be like that. 
I mean, it looks like they shouldn't be like that. I don't know whether that's been damaged in the post. That's how it's here. Because it could have been. The sights obviously they don't think they move due to the scrappy deactivation again. Sucks a bit, but you know, things are what they are. Oh, there's another Batman 623. That's the Batman code. Don't know what that is. Oh, I know what this is. Another select. So that means it's on. Single fire and rapid fire. You can change it. That might be again part of the deactivation spec, so I can't move this back and forth. The picture that showed it did show that both these handles should come down. We're going to have to work out what the hell that is. It's actually moving a little bit as well, which is weird. Anyway, this is the good thing you use to cock the weapon with. So you wrap the handle forwards back and then you would press down oh, what is that? yeah I thought it was very something like that I'm a bit worried because this very small little ball bearing just fell off that gun onto the zelt and I'm going to put that on the side just somewhere safe because probably it's something important if you're using this you'll be sitting Find it like this, probably. <clears throat> one over the side. Nice little one here. Let's have a look at the German manual. The very interesting thing is that it's been had one number stamp there been crossed out there's another number next to it or underneath it rather the rat number next to it there's also something else that would have been originally underneath the second set of seal numbers which is up here probably can see jack shit what i'm talking about tell you what i shall go and bring the camera hunter So, here is the markings. So that's obviously the fire selector ones. That's all the, uh, all the other writing. But here's the thing I was talking about. Serial number has been crossed out, placed by a new one, and a raffin amp there. There's also a raffin amp up on the top here. I mm, don't know why you're going to be able to see this, I can't really see. Myself, but... There, it's right in front of my finger. WAA623. 
that's all I can see at the moment. I'll get it all sorted out properly at a later date. And I'll try and get it so that the both of these handles come down at least. Or it might just be that it just needs a little loosening of one of the, of the screw here. The screw just might need loosening. That could all be all, all it is. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not going to force it because force it could break it. Anyway, so that is basically that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment to subscribe. Bye. Oh, and just before, just before, just before we leave, current EU spec. Just in case anyone gets crazy or scared. So it's all UK legal. That's that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, subscribe. Bye. And thanks to the one guy who's been watching me all the time. <laughs>